My name is Coyote Peterson, and as I stare into the shadowy waters, I'm witness to an ominous shadow. Cast by an ancient creature, it slowly circles the boat as I prepare to enter the water. Sounds dangerous, but the good news for me is that this is one of the friendliest animals on the planet. Get ready to swim with the manatee. As the sun burns through the morning haze, our boat slowly motors up the calm waters of the Crystal River. Welcome to Kings Bay, a series of maze-like canals and scattered islands that serve as a protected wildlife refuge for many species, but none more famous than the Florida manatee. Look at this, we are literally surrounded by manatees right now. These gentle giants return to this area each winter to enjoy the consistently warm temperatures of the natural springs, which are essential to the manatee's survival, as they are susceptible to cold and cannot survive for extended periods of time in water temperatures that fall below 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Got my goggles ready to go. Snorkel, I'm gonna get in the water. This is a little intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. And all of this disturbance in the water, yeah. That's about, uh, that's about 50 manatees, and I'm gonna go swim with them. Throughout Kings Bay, there are various places to spot these majestic marine mammals. You can frequently see them coming to the surface of the cloudy waters in the main canals, their distinguished footprints flattening the water's surface just before they breach and disappear back into the abyss. For a clearer look, you can visit Three Sisters Preserve. Established as a refuge for the manatees, it's considered the crown jewel of Kings Bay and its crystal clear water is the perfect habitat for all types of marine creatures. Just make sure to stay a respectful distance from the manatees, as this is where they come to sleep. However, if you are looking for a more personal experience, there are designated areas, like King Spring, where you can get in the water and swim right alongside them. My goal was to have the closest encounter possible, and with manatees being most active in the morning, King Spring at sunrise was exactly where we needed to be. All right, we've got manatees surrounding the boat right now. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. We don't want to disturb them. This is the moment of truth. I am diving in with the manatees. This is going to be awesome. There are no words that can describe the feeling of what it is like to enter into the realm of the manatee. These giants can grow to 10 feet in length, tipping the scales at well over a thousand pounds. Based on size alone, they are definitely an intimidating animal. And while at a first glance they resemble something between a dolphin and a walrus, these marine mammals are actually more closely related to elephants. From their prehensile lips and rough skin, to their nail-bearing flippers and innocent eyes, at a closer look, you can easily see the relation to the planet's largest land animal. Okay, so we're headed back to the springs right now to get up close with the manatees. My mind raced with a nervous excitement as we swam toward the spring. Here we were, bipedal strangers in a foreign, watery land. Would the manatees welcome us with open hearts and minds, or would they turn the other way to these masked invaders? See, when it comes to having an encounter with a manatee, it's all about the manatee choosing you. And the moment it happens, your life will change forever. Beneath the water's surface, I suddenly found myself surrounded by manatees. They gently maneuvered around me, an innocent curiosity drawing us both closer. Until that perfect moment finally happened. The moment where manatee makes contact with man. As I floated between them, time seemed to slow and a calm came over me. In that very instance, I suddenly felt at one with the giants. We're absolutely surrounded by manatees right now. This is awesome. This is where the fun began. And before I knew it, playtime was in full effect.
From barrel rolls to belly rubs. We were having a blast. It's coming up to the surface. Look at that. See those little open nostrils? Holy cow, that's amazing. When actively swimming, manatees can stay submerged for roughly four minutes before returning to the surface for air. They are incredibly social animals and rely heavily on touch and sound for communication, especially between a cow and her calf. A cow and a calf, like right down here. Watch it back up a little bit, we'll go down, see if we can get a great shot. Being around youngsters, we were witness to several unique behaviors, including nuzzling, nursing, and cleaning. I even made friends with a little guy we named Douglas, who was absolutely smitten with our cameras. Right now, we have the most playful little baby vanity swimming around with us. There's no doubt about it, Dougie was definitely the highlight of our trip. Once you're swimming with manatees, it's almost impossible to leave. And while the 72 degree temperatures are nice at first, after several hours in the water, you really begin to get cold. So it was time to return to the boat. Woo! Holy sea cow, that was awesome. It really is just like they say, swimming with manatees is truly an amazing experience. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Man, that was awesome. Once nearly hunted to extinction, the manatee has made an astounding comeback. Strong conservation efforts continue to protect these magnificent creatures, ensuring hope for a bright future. The soul of a manatee is as gentle and as kind-hearted as it gets. Their ability to recognize and accept a stranger into their world is what sets them apart from the rest of the animal kingdom. And if you ever have the chance to swim with a manatee, I promise it will change your life. I will certainly never forget the time that I was welcomed beneath the water's surface to swim in the presence of giants. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out the time I got up close with another marine mammal, the Northern Elephant Seal. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.